Bon Crowder here with Math4.com, math is not a four letter word, to discuss similar and congruent triangles. Remember similar triangles are the same shape and they potentially are different sizes, whereas congruent triangles are the same shape and required to be the same size as well. So here we have two sets of similar triangles on the Discovery Toys Giant Pegboard. And you'll notice that you can, a, a child will be able to see that this shape is the same as this shape by the way I have it structured here, which will lead you into a little bit more discussion on exactly what these links are and how they compare. Because right now we've got the length of two, two units, one, two, and the length of four units, one, two, three, four, and how those compare. If your child is very young though, they might not, or, you know, I did it the other day in a video, you might not count the units in between, but you might be inclined to count the number of pegs, which means I would count one, two, three pegs in this one, and one, two, three, four, five pegs in this one. Well, how do you get from three to five? There's no easy ratio there without using fractions. So you get to discuss the distance between pegs. The distance here is one, two, three, four, and the distance on the bottom of this pink triangle is one, two. So two grows to four by doubling very easily versus the three and five. Likewise, here you have a single sideways unit, if you will, and you can have two single sideways units, so you've doubled your sideways units. Here you've got the same thing, you've got a single sideways unit and then two, and that's been doubled. So you can see that you've got doubling of each side, and there you have your similar triangles. We look at this, the one on the corner here, right triangles, and you can see the same thing. So we've taken a single unit side and doubled it. Likewise the others, and then you've got your sideways that's been doubled. You can also grow this. Let's see if I can do this without killing myself with a rubber band in the eye. Mm. Grow this to a single that triples, likewise. And then this side is a single that triples. Now notice I've actually uh, inadvertently produced two isosceles triangles here, where, which means both of them have a, e two equal sides. So we can likewise do something sort of crazy. Let's see if I can do this. And oh gosh, I'm gonna hurt my eyes. I can tell, I can feel it. It's all fun and games until somebody puts out an eye with a rubber band on a video for YouTube. So now notice I have, well it's, oh geez, oh geez. That guy's kind of in the way. So I'm going to remove these. Alright, there we go. Might just get my own death on tape here. So now you notice we have one unit here that grows to three units. We've got two units that grow to one, two, three, four units, so we've got a doubling there. And here we have a diagonal that goes one across and two down. Again, we're getting into slope here, so you're, you're introducing the slope of the old slope intercept form. So we have one across and two down. Now let's see, the, to double that we would need two across and two across and four down. Okay, so do we have that? One, two, three across and one, two, three, four down. These are not similar triangles, are they? This is fun. So what do I need to do to change that? I need to change this to here, I think. Those are similar triangles. Now I can measure with my little counting here this doubles, these double, how did I miss that side, I don't know, 
Anyway, so then we go one across, two down. I should go two across and four down. Two across and one, two, three, four down. Finally, I have my two similar triangles. The other ones did appear to be similar for a minute there, at least from my perspective. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.